Hello and welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I'm the Imperandus Crusader Kings 3 in the Iranian Intermezzo. We have reignited the passions of the Iranian people and we are now slowly rebuilding the Persian Empire. There's still some bits and bobs left to us and yeah you can you can see the technical full extent of what we should have we do have a little bit more of course over here we do have a bit of the byzantine empire but there's still more for us to gather up and gather up we shall so we are solid on finances we're solid on prestige we are solid on a lot of alliances not with the Abbasids, but we don't fear them so much anymore. And I believe there is actually achievement somewhere to keep more of this. And the Byzantine Empire right now has has four hundred soldiers. Okay, let me let me uh, let me go and check that achievement. Yeah, because I think <laughs> that that might just be that might just be a good achievement to get. Let me check. The Abbasid Restoration. Nope, can't do that. Darius's Revenge. There we go. As a character of Iranian heritage, hold the Empire of Persia, Kingdom of Thessaloniki, and Kingdom of Hellas. So, we are going for a bunch of stuff here. Hellas and Thessaloniki. Let me write that down, because that's something I'm going to forget eventually. So... We, we need some golds here. Kingdom of Hellas and Thessaloniki. I think that's the right one. Of Hellas and Kingdom of Thessaloniki. Okay, these are these are things that we want to achieve and accomplish and obviously can't do a holy war right now because we are not a paragon of virtue and we're quite a way away from that so best we can do is a holy war for a duchy and kind of push that way or we conquer a duchy so Sturman Sturmon would be something but I tend to like to go for the bigger chunks early on. So Thessalonica has three counties. This we don't need. Bulgaria. Thessalia has four. Uh, Thessaly, I'm sorry. Epirus has one, two, three, four. Oh. Achaia has one, two, three, four. But in the end, it's probably... We, we're just going to go bit by bit. That's fine. We're just going to go piece by piece. So let's get Sturman here. Oh boy, though, the cost. So Orthodox rulers might join. Kingdom of Georgia and this guy. That's not really a problem. And it's much more affordable for us. To do that. So I think we shall. What option do we have? Promote Persian scriptures? No. Or do we want to consolidate at home first? Because these, are, some of these are really quite strong. Then again, our 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 vassals might go for these. I mean, Byzantines are silly, silly weak right now. Like. And we have we have good claims here. Like that's never going to be an issue for us. So I think we're just going to keep getting more. Just keep them on on the truce countdown, basically. And we're going to go Sturman first. Let's get a nice little flag going here. And we do not necessarily absolutely everyone. So. Mm 
Desperate Nomads. We want the Amirat of Nishapur. Eleven thousand men gather in Maihana. I mean, Nishapur. What is Nishapur? That's there. Do we even own all of that, I think? But do we want them to settle there? As long as you answer your liege's call, Nishapur shall be yours. Changes government to clan, gains the trade loyal. An army of 4,850. We enter in a mutual alliance. I mean, sure, let's settle some nomads here. I have... I mean... There's our people, our family in there, so... We can always try and root them out later. And I don't see anything negative, really, in that. Okay, he kind of hates us, so let's let's sway the man. Okay, now we have some Khazars here, whereas us as an ally, of course, he himself is kind of weak. But okay, I think we got enough troops here now. Let's stop gathering. Let's only make sure we have all of our men at arms. What army is this? Is A army. So we can go deeper in this here because we have a coastline that we share. Tradition embraced. Right to prove. Very good. Okay, a bunch of a bunch of people here are dying. This guy wants the job, and he's good for it. And this guy wants the job, and he's also good for it. Oh, he's actually really good for it. Goodness. And we need another tax collector. Because... So these are already our tax collectors. And we'll take the young one. Who is good. What's going on here? Seven months left. Okay, I, I think I'm... I'm good. I don't know who else we're gathering there, but... I don't think I care too much. So we're losing a little bit of money with this war, but... I can live with it. We want to get in here. Get this done. And we're looking at... what? Peasants. That's fine. I'm fine with some peasants trying their best. There are the Georgians. Who are sieging us. 11. 4. 7. So we have plenty of time to take our sieges and then attack them. Charm the vassal. Good stuff. So do I need to do anything about you? Are you guys a problem? I mean, he has the 4,850 special soldiers. Could be a problem, needn't be a problem. What do you hate so much? Cultural acceptance. Okay, we're gonna do something controversial and we're gonna promote our culture here. We're just gonna change them. I generally don't do that. Excuse me? Promote culture. Because it takes a very long time. But here it might actually be a warranted and sensible thing to do. Okay, so the allies of our enemy are a gathering. What are we, anyway? Okay, we're not a great leader. <laughs> we should be far away from the battlefield. We're too martial. 
but we can do that. Now, something we unlocked in our in our culture here is a little bit important because we have the right to prove for women now. So that means shouldn't we be able to appoint women as a swari? How does that work? Wait a moment. Did I do a big mistake there? Another house. So we have... No, not the faith. There, the culture. So we have this. Characters of the sculptures may become shield maintenance if their faith is genders, doctrines, or bias against them. Do I appoint them? Let's check my courtiers. See if there are any... How do I get the shield made now? Oh, she's of a different culture, Andalusian. Okay. Let's check in my own family. There, make shield men. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna look for people. Now. We're gonna look for. Find character. Let's see. We want. We want. Culture. Iranian heritage. And we want sexuality, doesn't matter. We want gender, female. No. Because you're not in my court, is that the issue? Diplomatic range, top realm, your realm. What am I doing wrong here? Thalamites? Did I have to be that? I mean, they're in there. Hmm. -hmm. Is it only for our family? Like our direct family? What is going on? Let me check again. So what are you? You're a Shari a Dilemite. And I cannot make you this because your prowess is less than 12. I accept that. I accept that. Your prowess is less than 12. Less than 12. Obviously, I never really pushed anyone for that. But all these are that. They're female and the dynamites. In my court. Why can I not get you to be a shield maiden? Do you have to be of my dynasty? Is that it? Sassanid. Okay, can't. So, she'd be the only one well, I could do that with, but also I can't. So, but here I can, I can make these shield mains. Why? Their prowess is... Personality. Oh, because she's content. She doesn't feel like it. Ah. Okay, but our half sister, we can make a shield main, which only barely helps you because. Okay. All right. Okay. 
that'll be a bit of an issue in the in the future. So now we have a shield main, so this one can be forced. This guy definitely is forced. I mean, look at that. 41 prowess, are you kidding me? Let's see. No, I can't go back in this field. I hate this so much. Uh, why did they do it? Why did they do it like this? So where is she? There. A half sister. So she can be now. I mean, she's not even the worst, honestly. Here, her prowess is pretty high. I was looking at Marshall, and Marshall doesn't necessarily directly translate to that. She can be at war with her husband, fighting alongside him. Ain't that romantic? I think it is. Okay, so Shield Maiden can help, needn't help. Especially if you don't have any Shield Maidens ready. Inspiration. Considered a master by his peers, and he wants to make a chest. Let him. I shall sponsor your inspiration. 72 gold. Make a chest. And we're almost done here. And then we're gonna go north. And fight these fools sieging our lands here. In the Byzantine Empire. Uh, this guy gains wounded. Absolutely, we're gonna beat him. And get some piety out of it. Can we maybe go in a way where I don't lose troops through attrition? I mean, that would be fantastic. A peasant factions will rise against you in Baghdad. Blood and gold rabble. Abbas is claiming that it is the work of one Danush, but one thing is clear the pair's rivalry is. Uh, okay, so. You know what? We go. Oh. Well, it's not even that few. But we're gonna let someone else take care of this. Though they're right on top of us. I don't like that so much. Let's see. Come on and help. Come on and help. And again, it's defensive. It costs us nothing to call all these. So I don't need to pull back my troops. From their very important work in the Byzantine Empire right now. It would take forever to get there anyway. So all of our very friendly friends are coming to join us and this guy is leading our army as well he should because he's definitely our best commander out there. So it was worthwhile to get the step people in here. How generous. Artifacts produced high, slightly higher quality. Let's go. So we completely crushed that army. Obliterated it. So let's hope our allies are taking care of those rebels. I mean, this army alone should be enough to kill them. But we might have to raise an army here to lead our allies to the water, so to speak. We need to appoint yet another tax connector, okay. Our commander. Uh, no, we're just gonna put a courtier in there with good attitude. And he loves us, so... Very well. Let's see. We're gonna speak of his handsome appearance. Holy hell! He's an exalted warlord. I've never even seen... I didn't even know that was possible. You can get a five-star trait? I've not once in my life seen this. Whoa, okay. I mean, he, he is a handsome lad. My wife must be heard. Come, darling. No. Get out of there. You don't know what you're talking about. 
So he's he's swayed by my fantastic argument of his looking fantastic. This is what it should be. I inherited a fine book about stuff. Learning lifestyles not not terrible. Not terrible. But it's also not great. So we're just gonna get some money out of that. Same with this thing here. These are not horrible, but also they serve a greater purpose being destroyed and being money in our own pockets here. I have this I feel like I've destroyed this puzzle thing a dozen times over. It keeps reappearing. Okay, so where are we here? So we have raised a little bit of an army. And we'll just go attack them and hope that our ally here follows on. And a child of the dynasty, I don't care so much. Let's see, will our ally join us? Will we have a chance fighting these? Not so much. I mean, we are crossing a river, so maybe we go like that and like that. Or maybe we just go sit there and have our allies join, maybe? Um, and hand me debauched sinner. I formed an alliance with our prisoner. I mean, okay. That's alright. They are sieging what we have taken. I don't like that so much. Can an ally maybe come, please? Before they finish their siege here. Which is taking a long time, but not forever. I don't know where they are going, or why. No idea what this is. Maybe he's in his own war somewhere. Okay, we can do a learning lifestyle perk. Open-minded, let's get that. Helps us a little bit. And it... Does not accelerate... Cultural acceptance gain plus 20%. Eh, that doesn't convert. Ah, well, that's fine. We'll stick with it. Just need to finish this war over here real quick. And then we can deal with our rebellion ourselves. Because all of our allies are completely pointless and useless. Okay, this would be a loss. Maybe if we can get the real good commander in. Okay, this will take forever, so let's go defeat them here rather than keep that up. Send this proposal. Excellent. And let's hold court while we're at it. So what do you want? They must be sent back to Ugus Il. Always room for skilled riders. We get Nomad Guard for five years. <laughs> Costs us a lot of money. I don't think it's worth it. Why are we losing so much money? Because we're not earning a lot of money. Unacceptable. Okay, we're gonna send them back. Are we accept them? Okay, fine, we'll accept them. We have the money. All the other options are a little bit too negative in my view. Not a big fan. Will we appoint him as our master of the hunt? Our royal architect. Let's make him our royal architect. Costs us a little bit of money. Actually, a lot of bit of money. Some gold will help lessen your sufferings. Get some county investment there. Uh, sure. Let's throw money at that problem as well. Apparently, everyone wants our gold. That's all we are to these people. A crown with the money. And let's check our own rebellion issue here. And still not a single ally has materialized. Because they're all stuck fighting their own wars. Okay. Let's move this here. And let's buy us some mercenaries. Because this is this is silly now. I'm not gonna get beaten like this. How are these all so darn expensive though? I mean, this would be fine. 
this will do. This will do. These two together are perfectly capable of dealing with this. <sighs> Big investment for nothing. You can't rely on anyone. Who are you? Ah, yes, of course. You're one of my rulers. <laughs> I couldn't tell by the very modest clothing you choose to wear. Okay, this isn't... Balanced? Balanced? Okay. Let's kick out this commander here. Put this guy in. Put the good guy in here. And that should... That should do it. That should... That should take care of it. Definitely does. But at what cost? Absolute atrocity. Why are we losing so much gold here? Okay, so this thing is done. And this guy must be fantastic. Actually, he's... I mean, he's okay. I'll recruit him regardless. He will be one of our valued knights. And these guys can just go and come join up here and fend off the enemy. Where they rear their ugly heads. Okay, find you a spouse. Uh, let's see, you don't have anything good. So we're just gonna go with... Get someone like that in here. Medium children chance. That's fair enough. And we'll make you a knight. You will be forced to be one. There you go. Invitation to a hunt. We would not arrive in time, so who cares? Okay, so let's check our taxes here. At least our cat is helping us. What's going on here? Why is this six? Alright. That's a good chest. That is actually a pretty good chest. Let's put that somewhere in our court room. Right over there. The Sassanid chest. Lovely. Extra renown, extra prestige. We'll take it anyway. Let's go fight some fools here. And we don't need our best commander for it. This is just fine. Our wife is pregnant again and our daughter has become a adequate bargainer. Let's get that marriage done. And we're almost done with this conflict here as well. Okay, these guys are just gonna die on the way. Let's let's leave them at home. <laughs> Maybe. They're just gonna die walking throughout the whole Byzantine Empire. Not ideal. Alright, so we took nearly everything. Definitely everything we need. And we're about to crush the remnants of his armies. And then we only really have to wait until this is done. We could, of course, siege. There's always good money in the Byzantine Empire. And we have another daughter. Okay, very good. So let's throw that one right into the martial focus. Why not? And let's get you a matrilineal match and something with inheritable traits. I mean, some of our <laughs> viewers are not here tonight to, or yet anyway, to insist on me doing all these things proper and right. Let's see. Fertile is fine. Traits inheritable. Let's see. Oh, we see a robust one right there. A cousin, but we would would like to go outside of our dynasty, so... Not Sassanid. Let's get some 
fresh blood in here. I don't care so much about alliance power, but I mean, let's see. This is a vassal in a foreign realm, so that's nice. And they got a handsome one. I mean, we'll take it. It's 2,000 soldiers in case we need them. So that's good. We'll take it. Wait, was it matrilineal? I mean, I feel like I said it there, but that doesn't mean it actually is. Sometimes these things don't quite go the way I think they do. How long until you're stood down? Ten months. Oh, man. So what do I do about this? Is it because you hate me or what is the problem here? I mean, Sakat is the one that gives us the most. Oh, more daughters. Lovely. Okay. Twins. Hmm. This used to be better. Uh, let's check our daughters. Let's make sure they are taken care of. And we're going to go with uh, Marshall. And Matrilineal. And we're going to go with the Lion's Power. We're going to see if we can't get anything cool in there. I will take the Intelligent Boy. Why not? And... Oh, God. This one we had. Unless both of them are... Okay, both of them are beautiful. But we can tell by having set or not set that. So let's see. What do we have? I mean, he might not be alive once she comes of age. We do need someone who is a little bit closer there. Need to be a perfect match. Mm. This guy, he's Herculean. Good trait to have in the family. Uh, my goal is still the same. But we're immediately down to 50%. Because the new Bas Basilissa has troops now. And our battle score is basically zero at this point. Very good, thank you. That's great. Well then, you know, I might just as well send these troops and start sieging over here as well. If they're standing around, might as well. Got one army protecting our holdings here and one army sieging down. We have siege, dude, a guest. How much do you cost me? 180, that's too much. Let's see, we have... No Siege Architect. Oh no. Will we become the owner of... Sm okay, so this is the only little cheat thing I do. Is I take the pelt and I destroy the pelt because you take the pelt for less than what you destroy it for. And it's the only little non-RP cheat that I do in this game. That I, that I allow myself. Basically. But honestly, we might as well hang it up. Nah. It's not so good. We don't really have anything, but 80 gold is much more sensible for us. Than that little bonus there. Well, the faction created against us. What's going on here? Okay. Nothing important. Clearly. So this will take forever, but... It'll happen. Wonder where and when the new Basilisa is going to show up. This war is dragging on, of course. We were so close already. So, so close. Russo Khazar Kuzarite. That's the faction. Okay. All right, now. Another daughter. All the shield maidens in the land. Matrilineal. Let's see. Let's let's get the distance, the age difference. Let's set it to 15 and find something solid in there. 
There we go. Intelligent boy. With a decent little, I mean, not a great alliance, but a alliance. Nonetheless, so we'll take it. And there's something in the royal court. The gallant Answar. Uh, we'll sweep again of him. He's the new lord of the Valia of Anbar, which is my title, so no. <laughs> um, I will speak well of him. I will speak well of him. That's enough. What do we have here? She wants to forge a crown. I do believe we might not have one, but very competent at craft. Is that enough for me? I mean, we don't have one, and sponsoring an inspiration is always a little bit cheaper than everything else, so... We're just gonna sponsor this. It's not gonna be the best crown, but nah. Skill is legendary and renowned throughout the world. Let's go. We're just gonna spend all of our war money on, on inspirations here. That's... That's how you win wars. The Byzantines just have to cough up. Let's ransom some prisoners. Let's let's recoup some of that money. We know for certain that none of these are important. Because they don't contribute any war score whatsoever. So we can just ra ransom all of these. Well, all of these where it makes sense. Some of these are not very worthwhile. But that way we're getting back a little bit of our investments here. Quest the divorce declined. Clan and the family need to stick together. Okay, cool. Someone is trying to kill us. Gains us some stress because we are craven. Well, I sure understand that. Whoops. Wait, where is the? There it is. Let's go work off some stress. We get some sweaty stench, but we care not. And there comes the enemy. Let's try and meet them in the field. If they so allow us. Oh, we'll catch them there. It's not ideal because they're defending in mountains, but... Honestly, can't we get someone better in here? This guy. He's much better. So they need to replenish it a little bit before embarking on the next siege because the sieges here can take a while. Given the high defensive stats. Oh, she's leading. So we have a chance of 100% immediately in this battle. They are seeing some allies. Your project is worth investing in. This is for the crown, yeah? Let's go. Ah, perfect. Very good. We didn't catch her, but it's enough. Now we can disband all of these. And it's time for us to set up a new vassal here. So let's check in succession who gets this. No one gets this. Can we create a duchy title here? Uh, we can usurp it. 250 gold. We're going to do that. And now this kid here... Gets all these. So let's invite him to court. Not sure why he isn't in our court. He's in the line of succession. He should be in our court. And there he is. So now we can give him this whole thing there. And immediately we have our alliance. So that's very good. And he is not part of any tax collector here. And we're gonna throw him in here. We should change the decrees, though. Let's set all these decrees to Zakat. Luxury tax. Really brings up the money, and it doesn't lose you anything. I mean, the vassals hate you more for it. That's actually a fairly decent loss there. Gazi status. Can't revoke here. 
Leash cannot demand conversion, cannot convert faith. Okay. That's a pretty strong one. We're just gonna put them on Sakata and everyone is gonna hate us, but they're gonna pay. Or do we? I, I mean, we have one of Zank on, on Zakat and the rest is basic. I think all of these people hating us is, is quite enough. <laughs> we don't need even more people hating us. So we're slowly working our way through here. Make every ruler jealous of us. Ruler's opinion modifier. Vassal opinion modifier. Courtiers. Okay. So ruler's opinion modifier might be pretty cool. But vassals definitely. So we're gonna go want to impress our vassals, I think. It's more a problem to us. Most of the time. See another 50-50 gold. Ah, we got their... Regent in in the battle. That's why that was an immediate win Let's see it is I who am honored the Shashana's treasure Ooh, Almost clicked down on accident. I'll peel the Shashana my friends and I hear wondrous crown being made for you Okay, a slightly higher quality Is that all? Okay Accepted gifts. I mean, we'll take it. Thank you. Why would I not? So money-wise, we need to wait a little bit before we do anything else militarily. So for that, we're gonna wait. Okay. Uh, no. You cannot have the ancient scarab brooch. Commander significantly improved. Improved by one marshal. You want to pay some ransom? 10 gold. An amateurish plotter, huh, little girl? By all means, I will provide what you need. Capable of... Uh... Oh, God. 280 gold, that's all we have, basically. Nah. You accept my Merrick's proposal. Well. Does that make you, Does that not make you an ally? Even though you probably really don't want to be. Can you serve this? But it's very costly and I don't think I want to. <laughs> I'll take the 10... And I'll take the 43, just in case you never make enough money. But here I will wait a little bit longer to do the ransoms. Another... Oh, man. Everyone is willing to help fund our crown. Look at that. The Armenian principalities, they're still there. They still exist. Still strong. Yes. The Augusts are good people. I mean, we're converting his people, but... For now, they're good people. <laughs> Challenge for artifact. Losable. Lo okay, so... Our prowess is not very high. But it's higher than his, so... We're gonna go... And... Except Costs us a lot of prestige not to so here. We're just gonna go for very high or high and medium This reduces our stress a little bit because we're diligent attack first attack hard and guard high risk of injury We'll take it. I don't that's fine. So here we got a hunter thing that comes for us knife to hand intrigue plus four Which is pretty good. So we're gonna go take that high and medium and we are victorious, so he loses his uh, claim on the thing anyway. <laughs> if he says it's necessary, then it's necessary. So, sure. Warp and filling. Your overacting is simply studying the weave of the fabric. It's important to my project. What's going on? 
piece of clothing holes in his badly cut up that I cannot tell what it once was. Okay, so he cut this guy's robes. Listen, it's necessary. Okay, let's check. Let's check this place out. They are at war right now. In a Yazdi conquest, so one of our vassals is attacking this thing. And might be winning anyway. So we're, we're not going to attack what our vassals are already kind of taking apart. This guy here. I think he's allied to that. So if we attack this boy, that'll help our boy. And we can de jure seize this thing for 104 or 104. And we're just going to go for the whole duchy thing. So we'll declare this war. We'll throw a flag. Don't I already have a flag down here? Yeah, over there. We'll add another one there. Then we'll raise all there. We'll destroy two of these armies instantly. And then just gather all of our men-at-arms there. Destroy this army too. Raise all men-at-arms. Because we're not going to need all these men and we want to earn some money still. As we do this. Like that is a perfectly acceptable amount of troops for this. Especially with our boy here who we cannot right now put in there. Good stuff. Hold on. Put in another guy. I'll put in this guy who hates us. Always a good chance they'd die. Okay. What happened there? Did our vassal just lose? I think so. Something weird happened there. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have a few suggestions. Chance of higher quality, chance of lower quality. Have you considered this angle? Slightly higher. We'll just go with that. A good chance of something good happening. And with all the money that has rolled in in the past here. Okay, I'm a little bit worried. So we're going to go raise all here. Tick these away and tick these away. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just a little bit worried because that's 3,000 overall. And I'd like to have a few more bodies here to defend our position. Needn't be much. That's perfectly fine. Oh, the Dilemite Crown. Prestige, 0 0.07. Powerful Vassal Opinion, plus 6. Powerful Vassal Consular Tax Contribution, plus 6%. Courtly Vassal Opinion, plus 5. Very good. That's a good one. An opulent crown of masterful craftsmanship. The crown is forged from electrum and adorned with an intricate filigree. This is lovely. Thank you. Let's put that on right there. Okay, our good commander is now in here. So they stand literally no chance. They will die. They will have no choice to attack us, but they will die. As is sometimes tradition. <laughs> Daria will ensure its quality, Alim. 50%, 50%. Uh, 50% of... It will cost us prestige. I will try. We'll roll the dice. Improves the work. Perfect. That's is, that is great. You increase our marshal by plus one. Cool. I mean... Oh, look at that. We made a good little catch in that battle. So that was weird. That was weird. That was a little bit weird. So why can I not revoke this guy's title? Because we have a truce. That's fine by me. So why don't I have an alliance with you? Because you're not family. <laughs> I mean... Not family again. Maybe we should create another kingdom. 
Okay, this guy is imprisoned by us, isn't he? Okay, betrothal was fulfilled anyway. Sometimes these things just take a moment. And another inspiration. No, I didn't want to do that one. We're still getting getting our feet back under us after spending all that money on all these things. Another faction. I think all of these are just peasants, basically. I wish you could tell a little bit easier. <gasps> the Dilemite Tapestry. Prestige per powerful vassal on the council. Okay, that's not so great, but it can be. Renown plus 0.16. That's the big thing. That is lovely indeed. Okay, let's hang that up. Let's find a good spot for it. I think that might go right here. Or over... Yeah, I mean, we, we should put that thing right there. And then we're going to replace that thing with this thing. And the Bavendid house banner, I think we'll just kind of keep locked away in a chest for now. Maybe we'll destroy it someday for a little bit of gold, but... Right here, right now. Nah. Not gonna do anything. A child of our dynasty. Little Hussein. I see. What's next? I mean, our, our vassals are really doing a good job at hoovering up all these little things that are rightfully ours. Truly rightfully ours. So let's see. Du jour duchy seizing. Which bit do we take first? This thing that doesn't exist yet? Who's your ally? You have no ally. You have one ally. But that is a vassal of mine, so he don't count. Do you yourself have all these men? Impressive. How do you have so, so many troops? I mean, these are a lot of special soldiers here that everyone kind of got. So we're just going to go for that bit. Cut them off from anyone who might lay claim to his lands. We will need all of our troops for this one. So I'm not too happy with that. But we'll see. Actually, we might not. Nope, we will not need all of our troops for this one. Okay, but we are getting all of our troops for that one. <laughs> okay. Let's stop the gathering. We got enough. So this army goes here. This army goes there. And this army goes there for no good reason. Just to go siege a bit. The main siege army, I want to go and take the capital. And this army is just going to help fight that army. Because this is our highest quality group among all of these. Okay. He's going to give us a run around. I am not a fan. Let's see. Apostate, different faith opinion, plus 15. Faith conversion cost minus 75%. Meh. Fine. Not a big trait by any means, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with what we get. So who's leading this army? Let's put this guy in who hates us. Maybe he dies. Our mercenaries are expiring. That's fine. We're not gonna get those renewed. Antelope horn was destroyed. Also fine. We couldn't reforge that. Uh, on decline. Go away. Everyone wants this brooch. I get it. It's a good brooch, but no. None of you are deserving. Adequate bargainer. Well. Let's go fulfill that betrothal. Got us some victories here. So we can send this army to siege here as well. 
Okay, we have swayed him fully in. Completely, let's go sway our tax collectors a little bit because I feel like their performance might hinge on it. Well, let's just go and befriend them. That's even better. It's 100% chance. Why wouldn't we? I know I keep saying this, but music's good. Really like this. I wish there were more pieces, though. Feels like there's a very slim selection of that. Nope, no, 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 no. Wrong army. This army. Okay, more peasants who might come at us in a moment. And we'll just send these guys over there. Everyone has their job. Negotiate an alliance. Accept. I'll take it. No worries. Everyone deserves to know the truth. A reasonable point. Age of the world. However... 50 learning lifestyle. 25. I should consult with more imams. Let's consult with more imams on this. And let's send this army down there to attack as well. Because we're pretty much done with this war anyway. And I think we're going to finish this siege before we're done fighting this guy. And there we go. Disband all. And we conquered this fully. Let's see, who do we have around here? We have anyone sensible. You are of my blood. You are sensible enough. Let's do some border gore up here. I grant you this. And let's grant you some vassals, eh? I can't select multiple. I wish I could. Let's grant you some bastards around here. There you go. Take care of all of these boys for me. I don't want them. <laughs> Who do you belong to? You also hate me, but what do you belong to? Rightfully. A duchy that exists not. So we're just gonna give you to this guy. Why would I why would I want to take care of you? Okay, Gur, which probably is also ours. Also the Jour, but it's multiple again. I mean these are all quite easily taken for sure. I just hesitate to, to do all these little wars, you know. Just a little bit... A little bit too much work for me. What's going on with the Abbasids? You are fighting an internal war, which isn't decided yet. Let's see, prestigious image. Sure. I mean, we can't win this more than we're already winning it. Okay, some people, some alliances are falling apart here. Let's see. Guniz becomes our friend. What is going on? Given how much you I'm sure we get along well. Eagerly wait to Who are you? <laughs> Just someone? Some spy master? I mean, okay, let's have a friend. Why wouldn't we want the friend? It th literally doesn't matter. Could invite her to court. Then we have a friend in court. I mean, <laughs> she's, she's really not great at anything, but now we have a friend at court. I mean... That's nice, isn't it? 
Let's see. Kicking Kissy increases your diplomacy by one. Uh, his diplomacy by one. What are you? You're my tax collector. Uh, no, no, no. Speak favorably of me. Can I get there without dying? Okay, our realm is halfway safe now. Let's see. Do we have anything free? Make haste. Circumspect. Travel speed goes down. Eh. Okay. Let's get a caravan master. Anyone? Vindictive lackey? Sure. And let's join that hunt. Historically speaking, travels for our family have not ended well. Uh, okay, might be late. We're gonna delay by five days. It's fine. Another alliance expired. I'm the Shasha, and I want my honey fritter. Six percent for a good meal. Um, nauseating meal didn't work. It was a gamble. Not a big gamble, mind, but a gamble nonetheless. Consider the armor gone for a price. Do I want someone as my personal champion? No. Let's just help him there. Such a weird event. Can't negotiate an alliance here. <laughs> we have a bunch of people that we are related to where we do not have an alliance. What do you belong to? A thing that doesn't exist. Uh, never a peasant will... I continue participating in the hunt for sure. Rally the troops. So where are these? There. Good stuff. Soon. What is our goal? Recreation? Let's show the Amir in. Oh god, I hate it when they kind of double up. Could befriend someone. Nah, we, we're there for recreation and prestige. Okay, let's get us just our men at arms. That'll be enough. We don't need anything else to defeat some peasants. Our men at arms are perfectly capable of dealing with that, even if we're crossing a river. Which I don't think we do. They have a better army commander, which is good for us, meaning we're gonna get a good army commander again. Yet another one. Best place to get your good commanders are the peasant uprisings. Negotiate, release, recruit. Disband our army. And now we're gonna go look into our Aswaran. Uh, put this guy there. And he should be popping up here now somewhere. To a force to be a knight. Where is he? Okay, we became friends with one of our tax collectors. Let's befriend the next one. Yep. That instantaneously pushes their output. I mean, he already loves us quite well, so maybe we go with this guy instead. I mean, Danush, he has an he has been an institution in the Empire of Persia. He has done well for us. Might as well be a friend of his. After all this time that we have spent together. Oh, there is a nice little. I will take it. He'll never get the full money. There's a nice 50-50 for us, and a nice 30-30, and a nice 10-10. Take all these. Let's check. Can we build something at home? Over here we can. What's our fascination right now? What are we working on? 
battlements. So in seven years, we can upgrade all of our castles. So we're just going to do nothing right now. Because we're going to need all the gold we can get once that happens. It's to make a great armor, and he's considered a master by his peers. We do have a decent armor, so I don't want that. The world is harsh and sudden. Ah, Danush died? Oh no. That's no good. So, tax collector will regot. Another good aptitude. That's. But he has cancer. He's gonna die soon. So, put this guy in. And then we're gonna go befriend him. 87% chance. We like a challenge. Let's go speed up everything a little bit. I need to be alone to think about this. Let's become reclusive. I think that's one of the least worst ones out there. The rest is all kind of horrible. So we are currently ex reclusing ourselves in this hunt there. Call to war. We'll finish the hunt. I don't think we get that. Doesn't matter. Uh, a call to war. I wanted to accept that, but that was just kind of gone instantaneously. Ooh, where is that? Oh, we can vassalize someone with no exemptions. Let's do it. Can make Daria a shield maiden. Let us. I was, yeah. Sister and court physician. Why are you so old without a child? Ah, oh, well, let's make her a shield main. <laughs> and let's appoint. Uh, it's lies. It's always lies. Okay, here we can appoint someone. Council position, canst Chancellor. <laughs> Our Chancellor. You hate us. Because you ain't us. Well, the cat is is hurting us a lot in terms of opinion. There, negotiate an alliance, take it, call to war. Okay, there, there it is. So, joins the kingdom of Transoxiana as an attacker. Sure, who are we attacking? Something up there. Okay, we're gonna join for sure. We got some flags around here. I remember. Let's move the flag here because there's a fully formed army already move on the march toward us. Sounds like a deal to me. He pays 200 to us and we get that. Okay, we'll, we'll take it. Very good. We got some money and a lucky paw, which is great because the lucky paw is like, what, 40 to 80 gold again? That's good. Punished and destitute for 10 years. Spend some of that. 40... I mean, this is good. The Shashan Shah deserves his cut. We're gonna take that. Cost us <gasps> the cloak of Muhammad. Learning per level of devotion plus one. Big piety plus zero point seven. We'll re we'll get those hundred that we just spent immediately. Monthly piety from buildings plus twenty two percent. Court grandee bonus. Zealot vassal opinion. That is. Yup. That's the one. So what gun? What's gonna go for this? This thing, mysterious lamp. We'll have to make room for the cloak of Muhammad, and we're just gonna destroy the mysterious lamp. There we go. And we got that rabbit's paw as well to take care of. So let's find that. There we go. Forty gold, just like that. Hundred and forty gold from no, two hundred and forty gold from that one event. Just because we're traveling around a little bit. Okay, do I want to raise all my armies? I don't think so. Some chance to become a god, and I will take it. Only got down to earth. So we're gonna stop gathering here and stop gathering there. And we're gonna make sure that there we raise all our men at arms. Pull these together. Okay, stop gathering here, stop gathering there. Raise all of my arms. It's all we're gonna need. Now we organize and we earn some money. 
And then we can go help. Oh, look who's coming. Let's see. We gain our... We'll take that. 64% for something good. We convinced, so something went right. <laughs> and we're happy to be back because we're craven. Can relate. Oh, we took we took the right route here. We are going the right places. He wanted to go here, then he wanted to avoid the battle. So he went here, but we already went there, so we're gonna catch him. Not sure, is that gonna be part of my empire? Let me check. No. So we don't mind helping here. And we completely, utterly obliterated that army. So there's nothing left. Nice. Shall we promote Persian scriptures? We've never done it, but it's also a lot of money. And again, we're waiting for seven years to save up some money. Get that right and ready. So I think we're going to end it here for today on the YouTube. Uh, if you're watching over there, thank you very much. This is a live stream, so you can come watch over on the Twitch if you would like to. Drop by, leave a follow, and join us when we're going live. And if you're over on the Twitch, I'm just going to keep going. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, and bye-bye.